the Tuesday, August 19th program, we're back into some very familiar territory for PMF. Yes, yes, yes and no. Yes and no. Because familiar territory is uh, an evening of Russian music, which we title this time Russian Tapestry. But, as we are accustomed now, there will be two works performed for the first time by our festival. The opening item is Symphony for Winds uh, by Igor Stravinsky, will be perform performed for the first time, and Rachmaninoff Symphony No. 2 will be performed for the first time. The concerto which will be sandwiched in between, it's a violin concerto No. 1 by Sergei Prokofiev. It is a concerto of his youth, the most romantic piece he ever wrote, actually, with the most glorious melodies and very witty scherzo in the middle, will be performed by a new visitor to our festival, violinist from Los Angeles. Her name is Alisa Park. She's on the faculty of uh, University of Southern California, the same faculty as we had Midori from, uh, from mm. the last summer, mm -hmm. right? Anyway, Alyssa Park will be a soloist in that piece. Um, we've done that piece once before, and my soloist for the first time was Frank Almond, mm -hmm. and that was probably a good 14 years ago. Anyway, so this program will be again something to remember, because each piece is such a jewel of music. Starting with uh, Symphony for Winds by Igor Stravinsky, this is uh, not really a symphony the way we treat symphony. Well, it, he gives it an unusual title, symphony. Symphony, Sort of yes. harking back to the old original meaning yes. of so and soundings. Not only meaning, but the spelling too. That's right. Yeah. Yes. Uh, but it is a, uh, a music for wind ensemble, really, which is consist of two parts. The second part is could be played separately. It is like a, a dirge, in uh, in memory of uh, the part the parting of Claude Debussy. Mm. So he wrote it just to commemorate his departure, his death. But the first part is. Uh, it is very hard to describe the meaning of it or the form of it. It is certainly 100% Stravinsky. <laughs> it's bold. I mean, the color, the colorization is incredible. Well, it is... Uh, I could only describe it as uh, reminiscences of uh, maybe classics, but being appearing in the mind of composers when he was going through the most darker and uh, fantastic dreams mm -hmm. in, in a dark night after heavy and serious drinking. <laughs> well, the, this opening um, also features the winds of the orchestra, which are fabulous. And every year we're delighted and amazed at how quickly they come together. Right. Like there was no 11 month gap no. um, between playing. And of course, it, it gives a little break, at least in the rehearsals, to string players. And it's, it should be noted how incredibly large the task is for our string players to come together in three weeks and play so much music. I think many of them view it as a bit of a, a musical marathon because they often uh, play more than anybody in those works. In particular, in this program, the weight of the uh, Rachmaninoff Second Symphony lies so much in a glorious and very powerful, very intense string playing, and plus lots of notes too. Yes. So I thought it would be very wise to have an opener without strings at all. Right. And therefore I've chosen this particular piece of Stravinsky. There was another one I was going to do too, and maybe following year we will do that, and that is the Song of the Nineteen Gale, 
which we've oh. never done before. Stravinsky, yes. yes. So it's just something to remember for 2009. Well, you mentioned that the performance of Rachmaninoff's Second Symphony will be a first, first. For PMF. It's a very large work. Um, in its totality, it's uh, almost an hour long, but it, it's just an hour. You don't notice the time no. because it's so beautiful. And the, the writing for the strings. And, and the other wonderful thing, it's like uh, driving up a long um, distance and coming upon a vista and suddenly you see something you recognize. It's the same way with the melodies of this piece. Yeah. You'll find, oh, I know this. I know this melody. Yeah, well, there's something to be said about Rachmaninoff and his gift of melodies. And that gift is almost like no other composer. It's such a gift, natural, natural gift of melodical lines, endless melodical lines. And they are so captivating. And you don't need to be Russian or grow up in Russian or even talk Russian to be totally enchanted well, and, by melodies of Rachmaninoff. And literally, like the clarinet solo in the slow movement. Yes. That's almost an endless melodic line. It's, right. it's incredible how long that, that phrase is, but how moving it is. It's, it's wonderful. I'm looking forward to hearing the orchestra play that. Well, I'm looking forward to see you there, too. <laughs> Very good.